Every day I can see You're the only one for me Together Nothing we can do Together Like a dream come true Together We'll always be Together Forever You and me The Waturi Islanders of Volcano Bay live their lives by the simple philosophy, water is life and life is joy. It's here in the sparkling waters of the island's lagoons and rivers that they find the joy of thrills and relaxation in perfect harmony. Their spirits soar as they brave the rapids of Te Awa, the fearless river, splash and play at Waturi Beach and test their courage by plummeting down and through the very heart of the mighty Krakatau volcano. The Waturi find balance in their lives by drifting along peaceful waters, unwinding in the comfort of private cabanas, and feasting on a variety of indulgent delights and exotic tropical drinks. Epic thrills and endless relaxation, the joyful life of the Waturi comes together at Volcano Bay. Good. Universal's Volcano Bay, an island oasis where thrills and relaxation flow in perfect harmony. It's a theme park like no other, an all new kind of paradise where every moment is inspired by the belief that water is life and life is joy. Here, near the summit of the Krakatau Volcano, you can test your courage on pulse pounding rides that take your breath away. But what's truly amazing is what you don't see. No standing in long lines, no carrying rafts around the park. Because with Tapu Tapu on your wrist, you can hold your place in the ride lines, even reveal wondrous surprises with just a wave of your hand. Here, the Krakatau Aqua Coaster takes you right through the heart of the volcano relaxation has been perfected. All your cares just drift away. Escape to an island getaway where cutting loose and kicking back go hand in hand. And a full day of fun lasts well into the night. Universal's Volcano Bay. The third amazing theme park at Universal Orlando Resort. The day that we first met, first. 
first impressions didn't quite work out. Oh, but something changed along the way, cause that was then. Yeah. Long ago, the Waturi people crisscrossed the great ocean. According to legend, the mythical golden fish, Kunuku, would one day appear, leading them to a new home where their spirits would be free. In search of Kunuku, they sailed far and wide, traveling to Tahiti, Hawaii, Bali, blending each remarkable culture with their own. Finally, at the very edge of the world, Kunuku leapt from the waves, calling, follow me to Volcano Bay. The Waturi fell in love with this lush, enchanted island filled with sparkling pools, sandy beaches, and a towering volcano. Here they created a tropical paradise where they could relax and play. You too can experience the wonder of this island getaway, where sky and earth meet in perfect harmony. Come, share the joy of Universal's Volcano Bay. On the enchanted island of Volcano Bay, the Waturi people have discovered the true secret of time. They believe that time is best spent doing the things you love with the ones you love. At Volcano Bay, every Waturi wears a tapu-tapu, a mystical talisman which helps them master time. In the Waturi culture, there's no wasting time standing in long lines. Instead, the day is spent swimming, laughing, eating, and relaxing. And when you're ready to climb to the towering summit of the Krakatau Volcano, Tapu Tapu tells you when it's time. At Volcano Bay, every day is paradise, when you're living on Waturi time.
Introducing Tap to Pay, a brand new way to be cash free at Universal's Volcano Bay. It lets you use your Tapu Tapu wearable to pay for food, drinks, merchandise, and more around the park. It's easy to set up even before you arrive. You just need your smartphone, the official Universal Orlando Resort app, Volcano Bay tickets, and a credit card. First step, download or open the official Universal Orlando Resort app on your phone. Then, create or sign in to your account. Second step, tap the wallet icon to securely link a credit card to your account. Follow the prompts to scan in or enter your card details. Third step, scan the barcodes on your Volcano Bay tickets or type in the ticket numbers for each person in your travel party. Final step, create a secret pin for your group to use when they tap to pay. Now you can use your Tapu Tapu wearable to purchase all kinds of good stuff, only at Universal's Volcano Bay. Driving up Malco Road, heading up into the cold, or lying there on the side at a picnic that we plan. I love everything we do, and I know I love it true. Every day I can see you're the only one for me. Together. The Waturi Islanders of Volcano Bay live their lives by the simple philosophy, water is life and life is joy. It's here in the sparkling waters of the island's lagoons and rivers that they find the joy of thrills and relaxation in perfect harmony. Their spirits soar as they brave the rapids of Te Awa, the fearless river, splash and play at Waturi Beach, and test their courage by plummeting down and through the very heart of the mighty Krakatau volcano. The Waturi find balance in their lives by drifting along peaceful waters, unwinding in the comfort of private cabanas, and feasting on a variety of indulgent delights and exotic tropical drinks. Epic thrills and endless relaxation, the joyful life of the Waturi comes together at Volcano Bay.
Good morning from Universal Orlando Resort. I'm Layla Lawrence from the Universal Orlando Resort blog here with Riri Spragan all the way from New Zealand. We're coming to you live from Waturi Beach in Universal's beautiful Volcano Bay for its grand opening. In a little while we're going to give you front row seats to this opening ceremony, a new water theme park. There's some amazing performers here with us today who have travelled all the way from the South Pacific to be here with us. Rivi, you and these performers are a story all on their own, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. Plus, we have travel expert Angie Orth from AngieAway.com here to answer all of your travel questions. We'll see the WWE superstars. Can they learn how to play the traditional tong and drums? And my favourite part, we'll taste some of the island-inspired cuisine Chef R&D chef Robert Martinez Jr. has created. And you'll get to hear from the creative mind behind Universal's Volcano Bay, Dale Mason. And have you got a question about Volcano Bay? You'll be able to ask him live. But now, back to you, Rui. You flew all the way here from New Zealand to be with us today. That's right, the land of the long white cloud, old Aotearoa, New Zealand. It's been amazing to come here to see your beautiful Krakatoa mountain here. Mm -hmm. um, and what a trip, what a trip. It's a long trip, by the way. Yeah, quite uh, a long traditionally, flight. Traditionally, our people would have sailed in canoes, double, double hull vessels sailing across the ocean. Uh, it would have taken a long time. Well, I'm glad we would still be waiting for you. <laughs> I'm so glad you flew. About, about 11,000 nautical miles from my, my home. Wow. So it is a little bit of a way to come here, but I'm a Māori, I'm an indigenous to uh, New Zealand. Uh, my ancestors have been there for 29 generations. We come down from the Pacific, and uh, that's why we're connected to Polynesia. Uh, it's through our genealogy, our whakapapa, and today, you're going to get a taste of that. I'm so excited. Now, you worked with Universal Orlando to bring all these amazing performers here today, didn't you? Yeah, it was great. It was great to connect, reconnect the soul with our relations from around the Pacific, Vanuatu, uh, and right throughout the Pacific. Today, you're going to get a touch of that. And uh, bringing these people up here is a big mission. Uh, a number of the people are still living traditionally in, in thatch in thatch houses. Wow. So this is just a big, big change for uh, for a lot of our people, and uh, amazing to be here. Now I understand that you yourself, you're a bit of a jack of all ta uh, trades, a renaissance man, if you will. Now you're a chef, a musician, and so I've heard an incredibly talented wood carving artist. But I know that you are super passionate about your culture and your people. I, just from talking to you for a few minutes, I can just feel it. Well, it is about the culture. It's about your own DNA, your own ancestry. Uh, we all come from ancestry of some sort. And so for me, it is about my culture. And everything I do is connected to the culture, uh, whether it be I'm a chef. Uh, I've got a great TV show where I get to travel the country, meet great people, eat their food and get paid for it. It's pretty cool. That sounds like the worst job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a musician, of course. Yeah, well, I try to be. <laughs> no, look, uh, I, I, I'm a part of a group that's uh, reviving the Tonga Puru, the traditional instruments of our ancestors, wow. which was almost, uh, it was lost. And um, so a group of us over 20 years ago came together and we, we've uh, been researching and now we have music right throughout our culture. That's and um, you'll see and you'll hear a little bit of it today. Yeah, of course. I mean, have, you've already been here for a little while. Have you seen parts of South Pacific culture represented here at Universal's Orlando? Uh, you can see so many elements of our culture from the Tikis, the Mowai, from Easter Island, Rapa Nui, the Tikis from uh, Marquesas Islands, mm -hmm. Tahiti, Rarotonga. Is, there's motifs from my island, New Zealand, Aotearoa. So it's just amazing that you come here. The only problem is people are going to come here and they're not going to want to go down to my place. It's all here. <laughs> well, I it's hope all here. not. I hope not. I mean, we hope people visit, but we hope they come and visit you too. Now, if you're looking to come and see all of these cool details here at Volcano Bay, perhaps from somewhere a bit closer than New Zealand, we've got a great guest lined up for you. Travel expert Angie Oath from angieaway.com joins us now. Good morning, Angie. Hi, guys. Kia ora. Kia ora. Thank you so much for being with us oh today. Oh, my goodness. It's my pleasure. We're really excited Phenomenal. to talk to you. Now, I hear that you're a bit of an expert on Universal Orlando. Is that correct? <laughs> I have been here far more than probably the average person. I'm a native Floridian and, you know, I've traveled around the world, but this is one place I come several 
times a year, if not more. It's just a great place. Well, we love having you here. Well, thank you. Of course, Volcano Bay has been in the spotlight today, but can you tell us about your experiences at the rest of Universal Orlando? There's so much else, isn't there? Well, absolutely. There's, you know, people today are going to be looking at this amazing of volcano. Course. It's difficult not to look at it. Right. It's, <laughs> it's the heart of this park, but there is so much to do here that you couldn't be bored if you tried. Mm -hmm. There are three parks. Um, Universal's Islands of Adventure, one of my favorites. Um, you can ride the Hulk. You can ride Skull Island Reign of Kong, that's which is one of the newest attractions. My favorite right there, yeah. That's a really fun one. That's new. The technology is amazing. Um, and of course, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Hogsmeade, the original, is there in all its glory with mm -hmm. Hogwarts Castle. And I mean, personal favorite. Personal yeah, favorite. Yeah. And of course, we've got uh, Universal Studios as well. Universal Studios, mm -hmm. the original part. The OG. The, the OG, <laughs> the one that started it all. Um, that one, I mean, gosh, where do you even begin? Diagon Alley? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Incredible. Cra incredible technology. You can go get chosen by Ollivander for your wand. Um, and then uh, Minion Mayhem. Great for the kiddos, mm -hmm. great for the grown ups. Of course. Um, what else do we have there? Uh, Transformers 3D, the uh, ride. The Transformers. Oh, the other day. That's amazing. It's and so then, impressive. of course, Race Through New York is brand new mm -hmm. with Jimmy Fallon. I know, we're That's really excited awesome. about that. Now, if you don't particularly want to go home afterwards, you don't want to go back to your hotel, is there anything to do nightlife wise? There is. Universal City Walk actually has uh, kind of a lot of things to do mm -hmm. from gourmet food at to some savory the emporium. The chocolate emporium. Savory feast kitchen. The savory feast kitchen. I love chocolate. That's it's the delicious. One I know. <laughs> the milkshakes there, you're gonna wanna go several times. Of course. And bring a friend because mm -hmm. you'll wanna share. They're amazing, they're beautiful. Um, there's entertainment, there's Blue Man oh. Group. There's uh, City Walk's Rising Star, I which is... I went there the other night. It was amazing. I, I tried think? to get up on stage, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> I don't believe it. We'll try again tonight, because that is an experience they, you can't they miss. They don't want to hear him sing, that's why. Come on. They want to hear me sing. Come on. No, it's with a live band. It's super fun. There's always a great crowd. Um, and then, of course, there's dancing into the night. There's just so many options at of City course. Walk for nightlife. So uh, when you come up here, do you stay on site? Stay I love here? to stay on site, because it's really convenient. Um, you get early park admission, which you get into the Wizarding that. World of Harry Potter early before the crowds. You get in there, you take your pictures with your interactive wand. Um, that's awesome. Uh, all the transportation on site is included. So wow. you don't have to drive your car. You come, you park once, mm -hmm. and everything's included to Volcano Bay, yeah. to all the parks, to City Walk. It's super easy. And then there's Aventura Hotel, which is coming in 2018. Soon, yeah. It'll be the sixth on site hotel. So there's so many options, just depending on what kind it's of amazing. traveler you are, what it's kind, kind of, of all -inclusive, destination. Right? It really is. Everything is so convenient for you mm -hmm. when you're here, and it just makes it a really easy wow. destination where it's relaxing. Yeah, and I feel like this is a little bit more of like a grown-up holiday, right? Yeah, you still look, grow into it. Exactly. I've been here a little, little while, and there's so much to do here. Mm -hmm. There's amazing. so much to do here. and. You know, it's something that the whole family can do. It's a vacation you can grow into as well. Absolutely. Um, there's there's so many easy ways to bring your kids. There's child swaps, so mom and dad can ride any of the fun thrill rides, but kids can have fun too. Mm -hmm. um, there's really, you just, as your kids grow up, it's where Universal is where they want to go on of vacation. Course. You watch the movies, you want to watch ride the, the movies, movies, you read you the go. books. It's some you grow up with all of these really cool movies and TV shows and everything, and then you get to come here and experience them in real life. Of course. And you live them. Yeah. It's, it's an unforgettable experience. I love watching kids come through and see things for the first time and, and grown ups. Grown ups cry more than anybody when they come to the Wizarding World. Uh, well, I'm not, I mean, I'm, he might have shed a tear. Oh. I'm a, I'm a rake, I'm a <laughs> As a crier. <laughs> well, thank you so much for all that great information, Angie. Yeah, so what about Volcano Bay, Angie? Uh, I'm hearing so much about this new Tapu Tapu. Mm -hmm. I have one right She's here. Prepared. This This is a game changer for me because the worst thing about hanging out in a hot theme park is that you have to stand in line, right? Of course. This is a game changer. You don't even have to do it anymore. Wow. You show up at the ride. You tap in, tapu tapu, uh -huh. and it says, okay, you know, come back in 15 minutes. It'll buzz you when it's your turn. So wow. you're in a virtual line and you never actually have to stand in line anymore. That's brilliant. So, so can it buzz you underwater? Maybe. Yeah, uh -huh. if you're probably. Easy I mean, it's waterproof. You take it all around with you. Yeah. 
Yeah. You go eat lunch, you go hang out in your cabana. Yeah. And then, from what I understand, there's other places where you can tap to take pictures as well, right? There are. There's tap to snap, tap to pay. You don't have to carry your wallet around oh, with wow. you anymore. Great. No more money falling out of your pockets as you're going down rides. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure that benefits somebody, but it doesn't benefit yeah. you, right? <laughs> so you tap in, uh, you can get your photos taken. That way you're not carrying your wow. camera around. And everything is on your universal account. So it's really easy to access at the end of the day. That's amazing. By your souvenirs, so by get a locker. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm That's so excited. I so wish it up. would go with me when I leave the park, but um, you leave it here. Well, yeah. it sounds like there's lots of things outside of the rides, right? Uh, there's, there's actually a lot to do here. You know, if you're not as much into the thrill rides, there's plenty of, there's every experience. Chill there's chill yeah. rides. There's a lazy river. There's a little more adventurous river. Uh -huh. um, there's this epic wave pool under the volcano. You can't do this anywhere else in the world. Um, there's cabanas that you can rent that are super luxurious. These gorgeous two-story cabanas with thatched roofs and concierge, and you can keep all your stuff in there. You don't have mm -hmm. to think about anything all day. They've really taken all the, all yeah. the stress you can out of going to a water park. Yeah, you could almost come here and not even ride any rides and still have a really relaxing you day, right? You absolutely could, and, and you feel like you're in the islands. You show up, everything's breezy. There's palm trees, there's a volcano, there's Polynesian music, and you, I mean, this reminds me of being in the South Pacific. Of course. I just walk in and I'm I'm on island time. Yeah, relaxing. Well, I it's feel like it. I'm at home. Do you? <laughs> I feel like now I'm that's at home. a lesson of information, Angie. Thank you. So, are there any tips you have on what people should bring with them when they come and visit Universal's Volcano Bay? My biggest tip is sunscreen. Of Especially course. if you're not from Florida, you might not realize. You know, we've got some hot sun, and you're mm -hmm. definitely going to get some if you're out and about all day. So. Wear sunscreen, put it on before you leave the hotel, put it on again, put it on again, you know. Keep going back to that locker, swipe in, get mm -hmm. the sunscreen, you're good to go. Um, also stay hydrated. Oh, you know, very important. When you're in the water, you tend to forget that you need to be also drinking water because mm -hmm. you're cooled off. You've got to drink a ton of water every yeah. day. Just stay cool, keeps you safe, so have, everybody's have a cocktail happy. cocktail and then a water and then a cocktail and then a water, right? Switching off is always a good there idea. <laughs> And the drinks here are delicious. They are. Oh, they I are tried them indeed. yesterday. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Really, well, really good. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. My Angie, pleasure. this has been super helpful. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take a look at all that's going on here at Volcano Bay. now is executive R&D chef Robert Martinez Jr., the man behind the unique and delicious food here at Volcano Bay. Hi, good morning. Hi. Good morning, chef. Did you uh, create this uh, beautiful menu with your team? Yes, me and my team worked rigorously to create this beautiful, authentic South Pacific cuisine. Yeah, it is certainly beautiful and delicious as well. And it looks like you have a few dishes for us to check out here. I'm yeah, really excited show you about what it. I have. Well, so, first, I wanted to let our viewers know, just in case they were wondering, they can ask you questions live. So comment in the feed you're watching, and we'll have the chef answer a few in just a few minutes. So now, take it away, onto the food. Okay, so onto the food. So we have a beautiful 
Hawaiian glazed oh. ribs. They've been smoked. They've been had this sticky glaze on them. They're falling off the bones. Oh. One of our island favorites here in Volcano Bay, a coconut curry chicken, oh. braised oh. chicken thighs, green curry. Got a little kick there on the end. We have some beautiful Hawaiian pizzas. We shaped them in the shape of a longboard. So I it's a little unique that. to ourselves, mm -hmm. right? We got a little tamarind glazed smoked chicken back here and also a tropical fruit salad because it's gonna be a lot of heat going on here. So we wanted it to be a little refreshing as well. Of course, yeah. So um, what cuisines did you draw from when you created the food here? Well, we definitely inspired from the South Pacific, mm -hmm. but we also took a lot of inspiration from different other tropical islands just so we could put our own fun twist to our own cuisine here at Volcano Bay. Of course. I've lived in Polynesia, mate, all my life, and I've been living in the islands, and uh, I'd be really interested to taste some of the cuisine here. I think you're gonna enjoy it. I mean, we have a little fun twist to every single little little dish there, but, you know, this is a water theme park, so we have to keep it up another notch. Exactly, so, I mean, speaking of the fun twist, I feel like this is something that you can't really find at any other water park. That's correct. We took the same inspiration that we have with our dry parks, the same passion, and we multiplied it by 10 here, over here at Volcano Bay. Obviously all the dishes are fresh, right? Made fresh. They're all made fresh. We have a little poo, poo platter here, a jerk mahi sandwich with a beautiful slaw on cocoa bread, chocolate pineapple upside down oh. cake that wow. I, that's one of my favorites. I got a little sweet tooth there. Mm -hmm. And a beautiful guava and tapioca pudding. Oh, that, that's so a, that is a real classic in Polynesia. Everyone has tapioca. That's that's going to be great. I it's hope great. it's going to be great. It's wonderful to see it's how gonna, it's going to go. I hope you like it. <laughs> yeah, so are we going to get to try this food, or are you just teasing us with Again, it? Yeah, no, I. Yeah? Again, oh. please. All right, please. are you ready? Pick one. I'm ready. I'm ready. First? I want to try one of these shrimp first, I think. I'm going to grab one of these. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna just go straight into this because. Go straight into it. I'm oh just going to try it. delicious. Is it good? Mm hmm. You would think the coconut would be overwhelming, but it's really nice. Oh, it's nice and subtle. You know, we know that people are going to be out in their bathing suits, so we still wanted to keep things a little light, not too, not too, too heavy. Of course, you yeah. You nailed it, mate. You have nailed Did it. Did That's that's I right think I on the try money, it. right? Tastes like my grandmother's. <laughs> so how many different good. dishes did you create here at Volcano so Bay? So Volcano Bay has over 60 dishes. Mm. It's spread out throughout the park, so it makes it convenient for the guests to not have to search for food. We want them to definitely enjoy this beautiful water theme park. Of course, yeah, and everything is, is so unique. I feel like there's a great diversity of options here. Do you have options for children? And you know, sometimes kids can be finicky eaters, you know? So yeah. do you have options for children we as well here? We definitely have the classic, traditional classics for the, for the children. We have hot dogs on Hawaiian buns, mac and cheese, hamburgers, chicken fingers. Keep it a little light, we still have the fruit, little salads. Of course. So is this uh, mahi mahi? That's Looks mahi like mahi. We How fresh is it? A little it? jerk seasoning. Fresh? Fem <coughs> is that female or male? That, excuse me? The fish, is it female or male? Definitely a you female. Ask it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a bit of bite in there. It's pretty good. Got a little bite, but the coleslaw breaks it down together when you mm -hmm. eat it together. It's a perfect combination. You got a kiwi stamp of approval here. Oh, that's, that's what I need. Now, this really seems above and beyond what people would expect from a theme park. And we actually have a few questions of, uh, for you from okay. the viewers. So one of our viewers wants to know, um, do, uh, do you offer any bars here at Volcano Bay? Any drinks bars? Bars? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we have two beautiful, unique bars throughout the water park. Dancing Dragons, that's sitting just right on the side of the beach here, and Kanugu Boat Bar. Both beautiful designs. Wow. All right. And another question, does Volcano Bay offer any sort of breakfast, lunch, and dinner options? Well, currently, we do not offer breakfast, but we we definitely have all day cuisine. Hey, what's right? wrong with this for breakfast? Yeah, yeah, what's wrong with a tapioca pudding for breakfast? Right? <laughs> this is my breakfast. This is my breakfast. There you too, go. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, I mean, it's such a. It's, I feel like there's something for everyone here. Is there's, really what you tried to go for. There's definitely something for everyone. We want to give a lot of options. So if you came up to the menu and you know, there's definitely something that that, that can catch your eye. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's really what we wanted to do. Well, it's amazing work he's done here, isn't it? It's amazing work you've done here, and um, hey, congratulations to you and your team. Thank you so I much. I wish you luck. Uh, good luck. It's, I really it's the opening day. It. I can tell you now, the people here will be just so amazed with oh, your menu, that's, man. That's great to hear. Good job. Yeah, thank, you, job. So thank you so much for sharing your passion with us as well. It's been wonderful thank to you have so you much. here. 
Now I've got to say, this tapioca looked so good. Let's take a, a quick look at how Chef Martinez made his famous pokey pokey bowl though. It's pokey pokey tuna. Hi, I'm Robert Martinez Jr. over here at Volcano Bay, and I'm gonna make for you guys our signature pokey pokey bowl. I'm gonna start off with some ahi grade tuna. It goes in a bowl. A little bit of fresh cucumber. A little bit of fresh pineapple. Some red onion. A little bit of sesame seed. Salt and pepper. Have a little scallion here. And some fresh cilantro. We're gonna add in a little bit of soy ginger dressing. Add that to the party. And we're just gonna mix this all together. Gonna scoop it in this beautiful coconut. And there you have it, Volcano Bay's Pokey Pokey Bowl, Kiara. <coughs> All right, next up we've got a special treat. Please welcome WWE superstars Natalia and Alicia Fox. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you. Now, you've been on lots of stages, but how many have been near the base of a volcano? None. None. This is definitely <laughs> a first. A first. What do you think of Volcano Bay so far? It's beautiful. We've taken it's a lot beautiful. of selfies. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, great. You can tap to, tap to take a selfie. Do you know that? With your tapu tapu. Oh, wow. Yeah, hands free. Whoa. <laughs> uh, you ladies have both traveled all around the world on extension stays with your school, your power, and what have you, but today I've got something really special for you, Ooh, and that know. is uh, <laughs> playing the Tongan drums. Are you up for it? Yeah. 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 All right, I'm excited to. to see this. Now, while the drums are getting set up on stage, let's take a look at what these talented drummers can do. drummers here, right? Yeah. Yep, and you're gonna show these lovely ladies how to play the drums, are you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, take it away. Traditional tongue style. Ladies, come on right over here. Okay. All you gotta do is... Got it? Don't, don't be scared to put some... That's a new move. That's a new move for your wrestling, right? Yeah. yeah. You there you go. Out into the ring. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. It was lovely to meet you, ladies. And thank you for trying something new for us today. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. And now for our final guest for the day. Let's do it. Dale Mason is the creative <laughs> genius behind Volcano Bay. He spent years dedicated to bringing this incredible park to life. Dale, thank you for joining us this morning. Oh. Dale, where are you, Dale? Dale! <laughs> What's he doing? Here he comes, he's a bit I mean, too like, busy. Well, it is grand busy. opening he's, day, he's isn't it, today? There's so much to do. He's of doing course. the last touch ups, you know, you gotta 
finish this big The most important week. man hey, in this man. park. Welcome. Hi, Hi Dale. Welcome Thank down. you so much for being <laughs> with us. Thank you. Now, actually, if you've got a question for Dale, go ahead and comment in the feed you're watching, and we will answer them in just a few minutes. Well, Dale will answer them. I probably won't answer them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dale, this park is amazing. I've had a chance to look around. How did you, how did this come to be? How did you create this? How did you visualize it? Well, it's been a good six year journey for us. Mm -hmm. um, we set out to create something unique, a, a, a water theme park, uh, more than, uh, bigger and better than anything else in the world. I think you've accomplished that, <laughs> definitely. We, we got a chance to travel all over the world to see what was great and what was not. We travel all over Polynesia to get the flavor and feel to begin mm -hmm. to build our story, the story of the Waturi people. Who have come here to Volcano Bay. And it is such a rich story as well. I mean, the story behind the park is one of my favorite things. I mean, every single ride has a story, and I think that's just incredible. That's that's the way you build a really wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. it well, is. I've been up here um, for a couple of days, and I've been in front of this volcano <laughs> for the last few days, and it feels like I'm at home. Uh, the people that are brought up here, it's the same thing. They feel like this is so home. It's amazing what you think. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Now the mighty Krakatau. Uh, <laughs> mighty indeed. Now, there's three different villages, is that correct? That's right. Can you tell us a little bit about each village? We have the Wave Village, which is our main entry, which includes the wave pool here mm -hmm. and the volcano itself. We have the River Village, which is sort of a family area. It's got our children's play area and our toddler area. We've got stuff for all ages here and some of our family rides. Also, the Lazy River, Wapika Y, is oh, there yeah. as well. Um, traveling back around the backside of the volcano, we come into the Rainforest Village, which is where some of our big thrill experiences are. The mighty Krakatau itself, Hunger Racers. Um, we have a ride called Makupui, which is Actually, the word is is for uh, wet and wild. It's our. I was gonna ask you about that. It's yes. a bit of an Easter egg, there, isn't it? Is. It is. <laughs> it's brilliant. I mean, he's really done a great job. I, I mean, well, this is the native over here, the indigenous kiwi. Well, I think um, what I've seen so far, I can't wait to see the whole park, but it is amazing. The motifs, everything here, you really nailed it. I think. Thank you. Hundreds of people worked very, very hard to pull this off. I think they've done a great job. Now let's take a few questions from the fans online. So number one question, I suppose, is what makes Volcano Bay different than any other water park? Well, a water theme park is, is, is really where we're headed. And we're taking the level of immersion that we've done for many other attractions, Harry Potter, um, Transformers, and we're translating it here into a water park experience. So, level of immersion uh, for theming and experience, uh, a really resort uh, atmosphere. It does feel almost like you are on an island, I feel like. It just feels Soon really enough. secluded, like a resort. We're doing our job like very said. well. Yeah. Really, it's very relaxing. Um, how many rides are there at Volcano Bay? Do okay. you know? Yeah, so there's 18 rides, mm -hmm. um, and about 32 uh, overall experiences, including our, our uh, rivers and, uh, and the pool as well. And you have thrill and chill rides, right? Absolutely. So sort of Something for everybody. There you go. Absolutely. We've got, we have a lazy river, but we have an action river called Te Awa, which is the fierce river. And it is amazing. I see this amazing ride up there where you just let yourself go. Literally, you're jumping off, in a, off a huge volcano. That one right up there. That is my, actually, that's my favorite experience here. That's Kokiri, yes. And th there's a Waturi, uh, the Waturi children actually climb to the highest points, jump off into the sea, and so we wanted to, to give you that exact experience. That load platform is 125 feet, eight inches in the air. Wow. And uh, it is the tallest, fastest trapdoor uh, slide body slide in the world. So that kind of segues into the next question was which was the fastest ride. So this is the fastest Absolutely. ride. Absolutely. So I'm going to let you go first on this one and then I'll just watch. Is there any corners in there go. or is it just straight down? That, there's a wonderful curve right at the bottom that leads you into the run out where there's a big uh, so I'm a not gonna, global There's going to be no problem of me getting stuck in there, is it? You'll do just <laughs> fine. <laughs> And this goes through the pool, does it? It absolutely drops through the waterfall and between the, the leisure pool and the wave pool, there's a, wow. a, a run out that you can so see people So you sort of wave as through. people as you're going past. <laughs> absolutely. If your eyes are open. <laughs> so if someone's thinking about a Christmas trip to Volcano Bay, is the water heated? Yes, indeed. Oh, brilliant. You've thought of everything. Of course. This is great. Well, all I can say is it's just breathtaking looking at this, uh, this cricketel. 
And um, I was with one of my mates from Vanuatu that's coming up, that came up with us, and he said that that looks exactly like a, one of his mountains on one of his small islands, outer islands, and he said that looks like home. Did and you model it on anything? It is modeled on, on many, many different uh, uh, volcanic atolls in the Pacific, but it is our own unique design and flavor. Brilliant, yeah, it just—it looks so authentic. I was saying even the moss on the rocks looks so yeah, authentic. it certainly does. I mean, there's a, there's a flavor of Mowai from Rapa Nui, Easter yes. Island. I see the Marquesian tiki around. I see the Kōru design similar to the tattoo in New Zealand uh, right throughout the park. So you've really researched this thoroughly, haven't well, that, you? That is the fantasy about this. It's, it's, a, um, it's a collection of all different cultures brought together. And, uh, and, and, and I think that is kind of the beauty that allows us this kind of fantasy world. Can you tell us a little bit about the interactive experiences with the Tapu Tapu? I know there's different things that you can do uh, with it. Yeah. I'm fascinated by these things. Well, it's one of, the, one of the biggest complaints people have about water parks actually is, uh, is standing in line. So we set about to uh, eliminate that with our Tapu Tapu. Uh -huh. But we decided to take it even further and say, can't this thing actually control some things in the park? give our guests the chance to control water and, and activities and get each other wet. So as you wander around... Oh, sneaky, very sneaky. Can you, hear, can you hear the music under the water? Yes, you can, actually. Wow. In our leisure pool. That's Absolutely. crazy. Brilliant. Now, will Volcano Bay be open year-round? Yes, it will. And in the summer, we'll be open in the evenings as well. That's another thing that's very special about this park, is it's designed for a nighttime experience as well. The entire park will change with lighting and this amazing volcano, which is a water volcano by night, uh, by day, sorry, and a fire volcano by night. Wow. You uh, send fire down the volcano? We will, you will believe that this volcano Love. erupts. Oh my gosh. I saw it, I saw it the other night, right? <laughs> and right up the top there, the water, you can't see it now, but at night, it looks like lava literally coming out of the top. And when it, when it explodes, that's just crazy, man. We, we throw lava into the air about 120 feet. Wow, <laughs> that's incredible. It is definitely it is. spectacular to see. I'm, I'm just blown away. I mean, every time I turn, and I've seen this so many times, it just it, it is just an amazing piece of work. It's great. So you said you traveled around a lot to find inspiration for Volcano Bay. This is one of this is a question from one of our viewers. Yes. Did you have a specific inspiration? I mean, what sort of things did you draw from? Um, well, I love the Maori culture, um, Hawaiian culture, a lot of a lot of um, tiki culture as well, which has been going on since the 1950s. You'll see a lot of elements of that as well. Traveled to Bali and. Um, I've been in New Zealand and uh, we traveled to Spain even, but um, uh, and just all over looking at, at the culture and saying, what is it that makes uh, what is it that makes Polynesia so special and how can we take that and make this fantasy world? I think you've done it. I really do. I mean, we're on the other side of the world, man. And um, here we have the Pacific right here. Caribbean's just over there. It's just a crazy concept. It's amazing. Yeah, Love and it really does. I mean, I'm amazed. It really does feel like you are in the Polynesian Islands. Like, you're so secluded here. Oh, it totally does. It totally does. I mean, when you walk through the park, you can hear the tiki singing. Man, I, I heard this one singing, and I thought it was Mr. Ed. And I looked around, and it was the Smoy. It was amazing. I thought I heard crazy. one snoring the other day as well. Yeah, yeah, Perhaps it could have been me. Could as have, well. Yeah, it could have been. So what's your favorite attraction at Volcano Bay? I know it must be difficult to choose, like choosing your favorite child. It would have to be Kokiri. Really? Yes. Have you done it? Oh, of course. Yeah, what did you think? <laughs> I love it. You weren't scared? Oh, well, it's always that anticipation right before it happens, and then it's you're committed. <laughs> Of course. Well, I hear the drums starting. So, Dale, thank you so much for being with us today. It seems that we're getting really close to that opening can I moment. Say congratulations. Thank you. This is a big day for you. It is. It we're is. We're going to let you team. go and celebrate. Dale has lots of celebrating to do. You and your team have done such an amazing job here. Thank you so much, Dale. You can go and celebrate. All right. Thank you. Ruby, can you tell the fans a little bit about the performers they're going to see today? We hear the drums starting. We know the moment is coming. What are they going to well, see? What you're going to see is exactly what Dale talked about. You're going to have a bit of DNA from around Polynesia. Um, and I'll tell you right now, the performers today, they are actually, this is their culture. It is serious. 
Uh, so everything done today. Sure, it's a it's a water theme park, mm -hmm. but it's more than that. It's our culture that has been around for over a thousand years. And today we'll see glimpses of Polynesia from the drummers, from the from the warriors that are coming in from Aotearoa, New Zealand, and the magical, mysterious water woman of Vanuatu. I'm excited and, to see um, them. There's going to be a few uh, little bits and pieces in surprises. there. Surprises. Surprises in there. Surprises so surprises. I don't want to take too much away uh, from not. this opening, but um, what a set, what a stage, what a stage. It really doesn't get much better than this, does it? And, I, and this is a, a great opportunity for the cultures of the Pacific to actually bring this, bring their culture on a world stage, which is today, mm -hmm. and um, share, share our culture with everyone. Um, and that's the way we feel uh, with all the performers is that they're going to give their all today and, and it means more than just the performance. This is, they've been doing this for a thousand plus years and today we're going to see it live and exclusive. You're going to see it live and exclusive. It's going to be amazing. I love that and I can't wait to see them and actually it looks like they're about to start. So let's take you down to the stage and watch the show. We will be back to see you here in just a few minutes. Welcome to Volcano Bay. 
an island known for its beautiful enchanted waters. This mythical tropical oasis is home to the Waturi people. We have all come from around the world to help bring the legend of the Waturi to life. The Waturi are a proud people, rich in tradition, who share that same spirit of friendship to every visitor on our shores. Chief. The waters are said to be infused with magical powers to set any spirits free. want their people to never be forgotten and to continue to thrive and grow. This Modi stone, which has spent most of its life at the bottom of the ocean, has been chosen for this specific occasion. This ornate stone was brought across the world from the waters of New Zealand to live here at Volcano Bay. The chief would now like to present to Bill Davis the Modi stone. This parting of the Modi Stone is an ancient tradition we knew one day would share with the future generations. Ka tukuna te nei motu ki a koutou, hei tiaki i roto i te wairua o te hā. We proudly share the island of Volcano Bay and the mighty Krakatau with all of you in the spirit of a hongi. He wai, he ora, he ora, he wai, ti he Modi! Has to be the couple haka here that are just amazing. This group Ponamu are part of Te Waka Huia, and they are the 
the, the top group in New Zealand. And here they are on the world stage, performing in front of everyone. They're one of my favourites, and um, they're just, the party's still rocking. I know, and of, I feel like and of it's going to be going for a long Rika, time. One of our top singers. She's, uh, it's just crazy. Now, I have to say, my favourite part, I mean, I loved the haka dances, of course, but the passing of the stone and then they touched noses, it was just so emotional. Oh, that is, um, what we call the Modi stone is a, a stone that was picked from the, from the um, river and it has never seen the light of day. So it's deep in the river and um, it has never seen the light of day. And uh, then it's given to a carver and the carver carved this beautiful sculpture of fish scales into the rock. So what that means, the Modi stone, it is all of the cultures of Volcano Bay, all of the cultures of the Pacific, all the energies are put into the stone. The life force of Volcano Bay is in that Modi stone. That's incredible. And that is the heartbeat of this place, given as a gift by the people of the Pacific. That's amazing, so amazing. And then I heard you have a bit of a surprise for our viewers, right? We have a surprise, folks. Down on the beach we've got Te Wakahuia, and they're gonna give us an amazing haka Two encore, encore, encore. We need them up there to do it. I know, I feel like this party is going to be going for a long time. I can't wait. Thank you so much for joining us today for the grand opening of Universal's Volcano Bay. You can get all the information you need for visiting at universalorlando.com. Take care. We hope to see you soon. Really, thank you so much. This has been amazing. Oh, it's, it has been amazing. It's been great to be with you here. Let's give it, I'll give you a hongi. Oh, all right. You're going to do the nose. No rei rei tiwi nga mihi nui ki a koutou i te wā kāinga o ti rā ko ngā iwi take take o tēnei o ngā motu ka mihi atu ki a koutou tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tūrou Hawaiki! I am first in line for Volcano Bay. That's right. I'm, excuse me, ma'am, I'm... She doesn't care. All right. Hey! Is this where you've been the past three weeks? <laughs> yeah, but guess who's first in line for Volcano Bay? This guy. Are you sure about that? Because I already have my three-park premier annual pass, which includes Volcano Bay, so it's kind of like I'm already in line without standing in a line. Which reminds me, how awesome does Tapu Tapu sound? Oh, you mean the rad wearable? You don't know what it does, do you? <laughs> yes. I know that it's a rad wearable. And it's how we hold our place in line to ride whatever attraction we want so we won't have to stand in line. Now you'll have time to hang out in the winding river or play in the wave pool. So bring your sunscreen. I think I know what to bring to a water park, Rebecca. Oh, I know you're the water park master. This isn't just a water park. It's a water theme park. I'm ready. Oh, we are all ready. But I'm telling you, Volcano Bay is going to melt your face off. Word on New York Street says Volcano Bay will have sushi. Stop it. I didn't know you even liked sushi. I never had it. This park is so on food. On food. I'm telling you, all other water parks, Volcano Bay. So you need to upgrade your premier annual pass 
to a three park pass. Oh yeah, I should probably do that. Actually, can you put sunscreen on my back? I haven't been able to do this since I got here. Oh my gosh. I know, I keep saying the same thing. Oh my gosh, Volcano Bay. <gasps>